Hey, I'm Chad. I want to give you a very quick overview of how the simple chatbot works. Hopefully you just saw it demonstrated in the video right above this. This is a quick overview of the code and how to sort of get your bearings inside the example app and know what's happening. So we'll start by going all the way to the top. I'm inside daily AI examples. This is bot.py. This is all just, you know, a bunch of imports and stuff. This is where we import uh, images that are used for the sprite animation of the bot talking. We'll come back to that in just a second. Um, these are a couple of custom processors. We're going to come back to those as well. But the interesting bits happen inside the main function here. So this is where we set up our transport. We're using the daily transport here so that we can connect our pipeline to a daily room. That's where we do our media interaction. Uh, we define the services that we use right here, some of the services that we use right here. So TTS is the 11 Labs text-to-speech service. Uh, you could easily swap this out for DeepGram or whatever else you want to use. LLM, we're just using OpenAI directly here. Um, and then we're also setting up a couple of instances of those custom processes we talked about, or that we're going to talk about in a second. One of them talking animation, the other animation initializer. Um, this is where we actually run the bot itself. This block run conversation, you can see we're basically just waiting on it to run down here. Um, we're running an interruptible pipeline, which means that the user can talk and interrupt the bot while it's speaking at any time, which is kind of nice. Um, the, the interruptible pipeline runner wraps your pipeline with a pre and post processor. In this case, the job of both of these is to accumulate what the user said, or in this case, what the bot said, and add them to a shared context object that we're using for LLM completions. That's defined right here. You'll see that gets passed to a few different things. Now, this is, this is sort of the standard run loop of our pipeline, but we're also using a, a little trick right here in, that comes from the transport class where we are, when the first other participant joins the daily call, i.e. when a human enters the room, we're also just queuing up a frame that goes into the pipeline to be processed. This is what, this is what makes the bot talk first. Uh, we queue up an LLM messages frame that gets processed by this LLM, or sorry, by this, um, actually, yeah, by this LLM and then the TTS. So let's go back to the pipeline again. Um, AI is an animation initializer. All that that is doing is the first time anything comes through, um, we are, like when the pipeline starts, we are yielding a quiet frame, which is just an image of the bot not talking. After that, we, uh, we go to the LLM. So again, processors, services, if they get frames, they don't know what to do with, they just pass them along. So in this case, after the, anim after the animation initializer has processed this first pipeline started frame, it's just going to pass everything right through. So we can ignore it from here on out. But this first uh, LLM messages frame that we pushed into the pipeline is going to get caught by this LLM service. What it's going to do is see this system prompt and the messages that we have, and then it's going to generate a completion, which is basically a greeting from the bot, the first thing you heard the bot say. Now, that's going to come out as a bunch of text frames, which are then going to go into the text-to-speech service. This is where we generate the audio of the bot talking. And then the last thing we do is those audio frames come out and go through this uh, talking animation class. And you'll see if any time this processor sees an audio frame, it knows that that means that's the bot talking. So it yields a talking frame, which is a sprite animation thing, um, and then sets an instance variable. And then likewise, when we see this TTS in frame, we know that this is the bot done talking. So we basically stop the animation there. So that goes out. Finally, it goes through the post processor where uh, it aggregates what the bot says and then this loop just runs until you get bored talking to the bot.